Hi, I'm Rob, and have you ever wondered what even is lunar pareidolia and clear obscure? Uh, can I explain? So lunar pareidolia and clear obscure. Lunar pareidolia is seeing stuff that looks like things. Um, on the moon. Uh, so pareidolia is just a, a very common thing that can happen to people is that we will see what looks like a face in a sort of random thing like a cloud or a texture. Uh, I quite often check the bottom of my coffee mug when I'm finished just to see if there's anything that looks like stuff because I've found a few things uh, that have kept me entertained. It doesn't take much. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, lunar pareidolia, things on the moon. Uh, so the, the entire earth facing side of the moon, some people see uh, what's called the man in the moon. Uh, and I believe there are at least, uh, there are at least several different ways of imagining a face uh, with those lunar highlands and mare. Other well-known pareidolic moon things uh, is that you can imagine a rabbit uh, you can imagine a lady wearing a necklace. Uh, so that's the whole moon. When you're going a bit closer, we can start to use craters and things uh, to see if there's anything that was uh, sparking our imagination there. So a quite well-known one is the lunar fist bump in Theophilus. Uh, there is a lunar duck. And I'll leave this one to your imagination. Uh, and then the other thing is clear obscure light and shadow is what that means in french i believe and i would say this is a subtype of pareidolia although i can't find anything much written down about this on the internet so uh these effects are primarily or they are down to the sort of shape of the moon of course but they are it's the light that makes them uh, so for instance the lunar x the light uh, of the sun rising uh, on that landscape, uh, the, the peaks of these certain craters catch the sun, making an X shape. So I would say it's pareidolia that we're seeing an X when it's just random craters. Uh, but as the sun uh, rises, we actually it becomes increasingly difficult to actually spot the lunar X. So that's what I, I think that's what defines it as a clear obscure effect, really. Another one of my favourites is the Moon Maiden. Uh, so this one to me feels a bit, I've seen it listed more under the clear obscure uh, type and I reckon it is a bit clearer actually when the light is rising in sinus of rhythm, uh, giving us the appearance of a feminine looking figure looking into sinus of rhythm. Uh, because when the, when the angle of the light changes, it does, I, I would say it becomes less distinctive. So I've seen that, uh, yeah, primarily written down as a clear obscure effect, which yeah, it makes sense. But yeah, I still think it's all the same thing, kind of. One thing I really love about pareidolia and clear obscure is that we can find our own stuff. It's not like uh, there's an official list. There are some great lists of um, lunar pareidolia and clear obscure out there, uh, but it's not like you're gonna upset. It's not like the official like naming of craters, which is handled by some kind of official body. It's a bit like asterisms and constellations, where we can freely make up our own asterisms within constellations between them, but then there's the official boundaries. So yeah, that's something I love about it. The freedom to see what you want to see, uh, as I did with my moon moth image. So as far as I'm aware, no one else had spotted this. Uh, maybe they have, but I, I couldn't find any record. As far as I'm aware, I was the first one to find it. Uh, just a cool thing I noticed. Uh, from a bit wider out, I actually looked, thought it looked like a face hugger at first, and then I decided to go down a route of uh, emphasising the mothness of it, uh, or butterfly. I mean, yeah, same family. Am I right? Uh, getting in a lot of conundrums here. Uh, is Peridoli the same as Clear Obscure? Butterflies and moths, same branch overall, aren't they? Is it not? Uh, welcome to my brain. <laughs> I can't, uh, yeah. These things keep me up at night. They really do. Uh, so yeah, uh, do, if you spot any 
pareidolia or like um, recognized one beforehand or one you've noticed yourself, uh, we'd love to see it, do send it over. Um, uh, Twitter is probably the best way to reach me. I'm at Rob over there. Take it easy out there, see you next time.